Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne, First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. Today we want to talk about an eternal, uh, you know, eternal uh, retirement plan. You know, I've heard that if if you're planning on retiring, that it's going to, uh, you should have access to a million dollars, that it's going to cost you to live, you know, based on, you know, what uh, the average lifespan is, if you retire at 65 and so forth, you need about a million dollars in order to maintain the lifestyle that you have. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't have a million dollars. I'm not even near a million dollars. And uh, but fortunate for me, I'm not planning on retiring anyway. I love what I do. I'm very fortunate. As long as First Baptist has me, I'll probably be here and uh, and continue on with the ministry that God has called me to here. Uh, here in our passage today, we see that Jesus is telling us to refocus, to be mindful of not what's happening here, but what's going to happen in eternity. Uh, we can focus here on having the the bigger and the better and the newer and the faster uh, of things, you know, this lot, we can have the best of, of clothing and we can have the best of, of uh, houses. We have the fastest and the newest of cars and we can climb up that social ladder and, and think we're really something. And, uh, you know, but he says here that really what matters is what we're laying in store in, in heaven. He says the things that we, we think are so important here will eventually go away. He talks about rust and talks about mold and moth and, and where thieves can come in and take and destroy. And, and where the, what is he saying? He says all these things are temporary. There is no security in these things that we think are so important. We lay, we, people have slaved, you know, for 30, 40 years and putting money in a 401k and all of a sudden the market collapses and you lose 30 or 40 or 50% of your portfolio overnight, overnight. And, uh, and, and it happens and, you know, and, and people who thought they were financially secure are having to go back to work and, and it's harder to find a job at certain ages. And, and certainly it, uh, it uh, changes plans. Here we are, we're in Matthew chapter 6. And Jesus says in this, he says, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust uh, destroy and where tr thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart be, it will be also. He's saying here that if you really want to be focused on heaven, begin working to lay up treasures in heaven. You know, what is your eternal portfolio look like? Uh, when was the last time you were involved in the ministry of the church? When was the last time you shared the gospel with someone? When was the last time you brought somebody uh, to church? When was the last time you got involved? When was the last time? You know, it's a shame that most churches have to plead and beg for people to work in the nursery. And I tell you what, that's the, that heart in the nursery, that, that those young kids are open to the, to the love of Christ. And many times, because there are absentee fathers and, and all these things, uh, broken homes, that those Sunday school teachers and nursery workers uh, really fill a void in these young people's lives. And I think, well, that's an eternal work. That's an eternal work. And I believe there's a special blessing in heaven because of, of the dedication of those, those women, mostly women and some men, who work in, the, in, in our Sunday schools, in our nurseries, in our Awana programs. You know what? It's an opportunity for you and I to be able to share the gospel in, 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 in the most loving place possible. Our Sunday school class, an Awana program. When was the last time you got involved? When was the last time you brought your children and your grandchildren and maybe your neighbor's children to to Sunday school or the Awana program and uh, in your church and, and so they can hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. And when we do that, uh, 
We become, we're laying up treasures in heaven. We're laying up treasures in heaven. People are so enamored by what they have in the bank. I look at what's posted on Facebook and, and I see that, you know, we're so earthly minded. People are so, you know, we'll take pictures of a, of a, you know, a, a fantastic meal. We'll take pictures of a, that brand new car. We want everybody to see that brand new vehicle or that brand new house and those brand new clothes and, and this and that. We're bragging. Uh, isn't that really what we're doing? We're bringing attention to ourselves and saying, look what I've done for myself. We're not bringing uh, glory to God. We're bringing attention to ourselves. Look at me, look at me, look at me, and praise me. And I know these are Christians. And I'm saying that shouldn't be. That shouldn't be. Our focus should be on Christ. Our focus should be on winning people to Christ, sharing the gospel, bring it, get involved in church, get involved in the word of God. The two eternal things, the two things that last, outlast us are the is the word of God and the souls of men. And you know what? I've spent my life in the word of God and I've spent my life trying to proclaim the word of God. And you know what? I, when I leave, I'm hoping, I'm praying that, you know what, my children are coming with me. They're following behind me eventually. My grandchildren will be following behind me. My great-grandchildren will be following behind me. That is my hope. That is my focus. Yes, it's the entire community, but I have to reach my family, and so do you. And if you're not going to reach them, who is? Stop focusing on that car. Nothing wrong with the car. Nothing wrong with the house. Nothing wrong with those things. Jesus said there's something better, though. There's something better. He says if you want to be focused in, in, on heaven, start putting your treasure there. Start, start spending your time in putting uh, your treasure there. Amen? Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you. And I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.